right. Well, Baldick, this is the, uh, the gem in the crown, as it were. Everybody knows you're most famous for your ice cream making. So talk to me a little bit. First of all, we'll get round to the flavors and all that in a minute, but let's talk about how did you get into the ice cream business? Uh, I graduated culinary art school in Poland, and of course ice cream was a part of dessert classes. When I came to the States, first I owned a restaurant. You know, owning a restaurant business is kind of tough. It involves a lot of employees, and then it was in Massachusetts. Then I moved to Florida, and you know what? I found a small little space right by the beach. I said, God, this is the perfect spot for ice cream. Mm -hmm. I call it sweet little business. And you know what? The best, the beauty about this business is you don't need many employees. I love doing, I love working myself. Yeah. You need a couple a little nice, you know, young people to just for serving and you're all set. It's very easy to operate, but you have to treat like a, like a playground. That's what I do. And uh, what makes different about my ice cream and commercial ice cream, again, like sausages, it's pure and natural. Yeah. It's just a cream and natural flavoring. No corn syrup, no fillers, no oh, chemicals. Cane sugar. It's just a fresh, I do small batches. If I make a couple of gallons, yeah. it's gone, I make another five gallons. That makes a big I'm difference. I'm not making by the hundreds of gallons Truck and sitting there in the freezer for, for, for weeks and months. No, the freshest you can get. Yeah, cream, sugar, flavoring, that's it. That's it. And I try- and Which I, is the way it's supposed to be, of course. And I try to do with real natural flavoring, like perhaps my coffee ice cream. Coffee is just a cream and a real coffee. I use instant coffee, half a jar, with one ounce of water. That's it. That's so it you make like a slurry. Like slurry, yeah. yeah. And mix with the, with, the, with the cream, that's a coffee ice cream. Beautiful. Because so that's the, that's the thing, the best of ingredients, the small batches for the freshness, and you do it the old school way. And you know what too, they comment from the customer, say, you know what, your ice cream will be a nice aftertaste. The, any commercial ice cream give you like a soapy aftertaste. You ask for a glass of water to you on the rinse that. Preservatives. Preservatives. Of course. My ice cream, you don't have that. You no don't chemical. Have, you have nice aftertaste. You have, mm, it's like, wow, it's building on you. I notice Valdeck on your sign and on your, your the, you call yourself the ice cream lab. That's so this a, is your laboratory. It is, but this has got something to do with Oak Ridge. When I moved to Oak Ridge, people were asking me, are you gonna work at the national lab? Like most people at Oak Ridge. Yes. And I said, no, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not. But after a while I said, you know what? Let's open ice cream store and call ice cream lab. Yes, my and own I, lab. That's it. <laughs> I, and now I'm the scientist, ice cream scientist. I'm, you know, everybody, hey, why not? So you've done, a, you, and you've done a few unique and original flavors here, haven't you? Ah, uh, you know what, yes. But the flavors are one thing and the names, like a dead by chocolate. Death perhaps. by chocolate. You know, before when I sell just regular chocolate, I was selling like a chocolate. If I switch name to Death by Chocolate with a little skeleton, people love that. <laughs> wow, little fear, Dead by Chocolate, can I have that? <laughs> Another flavor I don't have today called Black Widow. That's a great name. Let me tell you, this is probably one of the best selling right now. That's just basically vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and chocolate sprinkles mix. But kids ask me, what I have, and I said, you know what, it's a chocolate vanilla strawberry and baby spiders. They love that baby spider. <laughs> really? I said, yeah, I just picked this morning. Look at the fresh ones, they're nice and crunchy. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Can I have that? <laughs> they just, I don't know, just, uh, I like to come out with something. I like to make sure. it fun, you know, I don't, I don't like, I don't like to be like a regular ice cream store. I want to be a little like a, a fun place, okay? Yeah. I noticed That's, I was over on the other side looking at some of the flavors there before we did the, we were tasting your sausage, and uh, I noticed you've got some great summer flavors over there. Beautiful. Lemon ice, it's the most refreshing thing in the world on a, on a hot summer frozen day. Margarita. The, frozen margarita. Frozen you know, margarita. That's only a great one. one place kids under 21 can have frozen margarita yeah. without checking the No ID. tequila. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but it, got, it has the lime with the touch of the kick. Of course. Beautiful. Everything besides tequila. And the peach looks oh, absolutely peach gorgeous. Peach is really, really good. I use little peaches, like a little peach pulp. Same thing strawberry. Beautiful. They Man, look great. Try it. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Let's go check it out. That's the best part.
you have to, I use the real peaches. See, we have farmer's market, right? Across the street, and I have deal with the market. One the, of the oldest yeah, in the state, they tell me. That's it, and they always like, after the market is over, I always buy like little peaches from them, something you cannot resell it. Right. And I would just. Well, that's it, because the ripest peaches make the best ice, of course. And this is the, the recently one oh, of man. the best selling ice, my that lemon ice. I love lemon ice too. I love them all. It's one of my favorites. This is a lemon ice or a lemon sorbet. Well, Italian's called lemon granita. Mm. Mm. Good? Awesome. Really good. Still got the tartness of the lemon. It's not overly sweet. People because, sweeten it too much. Because I use the whole, I ground the whole lemons. We even with the peels. All the oil in there? That's all that's it is. is. That's all it is. Oh, is that, they are super good. And the kids, you know, right now, favorite to us is margarita, of course. Oh, the margarita, look at this. The margarita are under 21. Wasted again. <laughs> in Razzleberry Town. Mm. Tastes like a frozen margarita. That's it. <laughs> you even imagine it can taste tequila. It's really, really good. Boy, Malik, these are absolutely fantastic. This is a strawberry ice. Yes. And, and that's an unusual that. one. Normally you see strawberry made only into a creamy ice cream. This is now an ice. It's like a frozen margarita. I got yeah. another, only, you know, strawberry. strawberry dark cream. The one thing about all of these, is the purity of the flavor. And you know, again, I use sugar, no corn syrup. You don't have that, you know. Exactly, I know exactly what you're that thickness that, that you thickness get. is awful. The flavors are clean, they cut right through. Absolutely superlative ice cream. I use purified Beautiful. water, just to really, I try to, I, like I said, I try to go to basics. Yeah. You know, how it used to be. Well, and you I, know what, it shows. Because the quality of this product is absolutely outstanding. I don't know that you can get better ice cream anywhere, and I've been everywhere. So, my, my hat is off to you, Valdek. You've done a wonderful job. Absolutely terrific.